Hello everyone and welcome to the Creating Your Four-Year High School Plan Workshop. My name is Karen and I am the Associate Counselor here at Plexus. This workshop, in this workshop, I will go ahead and guide you through different steps that you can do in order to create your perfect four-year high school plan. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Step one, self-reflection. If you're just coming out of the eighth grade, know that high school will be a totally new experience for you. Your four-year high school plan will be based on your answers to these types of questions. For example, what are your future career goals? What are your current interests? What is your dream job? What is your dream college if you have thought about it? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? And what are your strengths and weaknesses? Questions like these will help you determine things such as classes you want to take and extracurricular activities that you're interested in pursuing. Step two, now let's start thinking about courses. The courses you will take in high school are the highlight of your high school plan. After all, you are going to school to get an education, right? So high schools usually have their essential courses that are required in order to graduate. Therefore, these are a must take. However, students also have the freedom of choosing elective courses, which typically are courses used to fulfill the number of credits needed in order to graduate. And here are some tips that you can use when choosing the electives you wanna take. Choose courses applicable to your desired major. This will show colleges that you're interested in to see that you have been preparing for college coursework in that major. College credit courses, for example, AP, IB, and honors courses. I strongly recommend you check out the college credit courses that are offered in your high school. Um, these can potentially save you up some time when you begin college. And for example, some maybe one of these courses can fill up as one of the prerequisites for one of the other courses that you need to take in college. Consider courses recommended by your high school academic counselor or upperclassmen. By upperclassmen, I mean 11th and 12th graders. Your counselor can help you in choosing courses that will set you up for success and upperclassmen can recommend courses that are easy or that they have enjoyed. Try a new subject. Don't be afraid to try something new. Check out courses on things you haven't learned about or things that you would like to try out for. And finally, do not overload. Sometimes students pack their schedule with so many courses, especially honors courses. So be careful when choosing classes because you don't want to stress yourself out with too much coursework either. Now let's talk about extracurricular activities. A four-year high school plan should not be just about academics. Extracurricular activities are a great way to get a distraction from all things academics. They're also great to build social opportunities, to build essential life skills, and to stay motivated in and outside of school. And of course, they look great on college applications. To help you in choosing extracurricular activities, think about your current interest, for example, if you have always been like the sporty kind of person, think about joining a sport in your school. Look for the clubs that are available at your high school. These clubs can be related to academics or not. And don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone. Take the risk and go ahead and try something new. Step four, summer. We know you all love summer vacation, but since you are not in school during this time, you have more time on your hands to explore college boosting opportunities. And there are four summers before you go to college. So try to set a goal in each of those summers. And some examples of things you can do are go on college tours, try to find a part-time or full-time job, a volunteer opportunity or an internship opportunity, Take college courses. Students can typically take college courses at their local community college or um, at a pre-college program or even online. 
start your own business you're probably thinking that maybe you are too young to start your own business well i'm here to tell you that that is not true some things that you can do are maybe start a babysitting business you can probably start a dog walking business car washing since it's the summer etc apply for scholarships there are thousands of scholarships all over the internet for any type of student regardless of the grade they are in so use this time to apply to as many scholarships as you can. And finally, we have study. Well, study for what? You can study for things such as the PSAT, which you will take probably sometime around your sophomore year. You can also study for the SAT or the ACT, which you will probably take during your junior year. The last step we have is practice daily habits. These daily habits will eventually become useful in your college and professional career. So start building up those skills while you are still in high school. And some skills that you can work on are studying, time management, health, professionalism, organization, and goal setting. All right, we have reached the end of this workshop. Thank you everybody for sticking around. Before I leave, I would like to let you all know to please download our Plexus app. If you download our app, you'll be able to receive instant notifications from my counselor. We will also very much appreciate it if you leave us a rating and a review. We appreciate your feedback, um, any feedback you're able to give us. You can leave us a rating and a review on the App Store or Google Play. Of course, chat with my counselor if you have any questions regarding this video or if you would like to reach out about your journey to higher education, we're always in, happy to help in answering those questions as well. And I also encourage for you all to check out our Plexus page for more workshops. Our Plexus page and YouTube is called Plexus Social Media. All of these workshops are geared towards preparing you for higher education. And thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next workshop. Bye.